Welcome to the Patriots Today by Chat Sports. I am Nick Groff, and on today's show, we are looking at all of the New England Patriots OC candidates, at least as of now, at filming on Saturday afternoon because they have requested a plethora of interviews, and we have to take a look at, well, who could be the next um, Patriots offensive coordinator the day after they hired Demarcus Covington to be the defensive coordinator for the New England Patriots, which I was pretty uh apparent that I like that hire. But let me know before we dive into it, who do you want to be the Patriots OC in 2024? Do you guys have someone that the Patriots should hire and sign to be the next OC? Let me know your thoughts down below. Let's start with the first interview, and it is Luke Getze, the ex-offensive coordinator for the Chicago Bears. And I'll tell you this right now, right off the bat, this would be an absolute disaster. I am not a fan of Luke Getze whatsoever, and I think this would put us back in a very tough spot. The Patriots should stay away from Luke Getze, and the fact that they even requested an interview, well, it kind of makes me sad a little bit. Why I don't like Luke Getze? Well, he showed the inability to adjust throughout a game this year for the Chicago Bears and called a boatload of screens. And you might ask yourself, well, how would you know that he showed the inability to? Well, I actually work as well as on Patriots Today with our Chicago Bears channel. I watched a lot of Bears football, and I'm telling you right now, he was probably the main issue with the Chicago Bears offense this year. I'm not going to say it's completely on him, but Getsy did not do a good job in the Windy City. I think he actually is someone who can script a game plan together. Oftentimes when you watch the Bears, the first 10 to 15 plays to the first Two drives for the Bears were very, very good. But after that, when defenses adjusted to what he was doing, he struggled. They were one of the worst offensive teams in the second half this year. Keep me away from Luke Getze. Yes, he was the quarterback's coach in Green Bay before being the OC for Chicago. So he worked with Aaron Rodgers. He worked with Jordan Love before Love became the starter. I would stay away from Luke Getze. I would not like this hire one bit. Please, Patriots, drive out. Do not hire Luke Getze. How about Brian Fleury, the tight end coach for the San Francisco 49ers? This one intrigues me, a name that we haven't heard really much before and haven't really seen him get a lot of buzz. But I'll tell you this, sign me up for any offensive coordinator that comes from the Kyle Shanahan or Sean McVay offensive tree. Those two people have really scripted the offense that is most used in the NBA right now. The Shanahan-McVay offenses seem to have the most success. And I would love to bring that to New England. And I also do find it fascinating that the Patriots are interviewing another tight ends coach. They've had a couple interviews for tight end coaches. And I've actually started to grow on the idea of the Patriots' next offensive coordinator, well, being someone who started as a tight ends coach. McVay did that as well. I believe Shanahan did too. I mean, tight end coaches really have a good track record of becoming good OCs. And why is that? Well, Dante Scarnecchia the Patriots offensive line coach of legend who was part of the dynasty of New England said this when talking about being a tight end coach and specifically mentioned Nick Cayley, who the Patriots are interviewing for their OC job as well. When you coach tight ends, you're coaching a position that transcends the entire offense. He's involved in the passing game. So Nick Cayley has been in every passing game meeting and the run game meeting. So he's blah, blah, blah. So, my take on this is, I actually agree, because when you are a tight ends coach, you understand what the offensive line must do. You understand what the wide receivers and tight ends must do. So when you're a tight ends coach, you fully know how to coach your position to know how to do the run and the pass. So you get a more general scope of the offense, which is why I actually am kind of all in on hiring a tight ends coach. And someone coming from the Shanahan McVay tree, well, that's even more enticing tight ends coach. And it's pretty clear to me that Gerard Mayo feels that same way because Nick Cayley, um, Fleury, there's a bunch of other guys that have been interviewed at least from the tight end position or position group for the New England Patriots. I think a tight end coach could be the next OC for C-P-A-T-R-I-O-T. Yes. You love the Patriots. Drop an N-E down in the comments section. You want them to return to the playoffs and be good. Hit that button right now. Also, hit the subscribe button. When the Patriots do hire an OC, we will make a video. So subscribe today. I came at you with the breaking news of Demarcus Covington being the next 
Patriots defensive coordinator yesterday. Hit that sub button so you don't miss when we do a video on whoever the next OC is going to be for New England. Next guy, Tanner Ingstrand, the pass game coordinator for the Detroit Lions. And this one caught my eye when I saw the Patriots interviewing him because what he's done in Detroit is develop a really elite passing attack. I mean, Jared Goff has been terrific this year. They're playing today, obviously, in the NFC Championship game. We'll see how he does. But either way, an unbelievably good season for Mr. Goff. 30 touchdowns, 12 INTs, almost 100 QB rating while tossing for 4,500 yards. He's done an excellent job of getting a plethora of people involved. Josh Reynolds, Jameson Williams, Amon Ross St. Brown, Sam Laporta, Jameer Gibbs. The list goes on and on. The Lions' offensive game is dynamic through the year. And if you're bringing in Tanner Ingstrand, who could do a lot of those same things, take a hold of a young quarterback, whoever the Patriots take at three, and just create a dynamic passing attack, well, that will only benefit New England. I'm kind of all in on the idea, if we're going to be honest. We'll see what New England ends up doing. Next on the list, Thomas Brown, the offensive coordinator for the Carolina Panthers. This one... I'm kind of lukewarm on Thomas Brown, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, I know the Panthers' offense didn't have a lot of talent this year, and they were dealing with a rookie quarterback in Bryce Young, but he would be doing the same exact thing in New England, unless they make an overhaul of weapon upgrades, which is possible, but at least as of now, you'd be dealing with a subpar weapon group in terms of wide receivers and tight ends. You'd also be dealing with a rookie quarterback, which he just did in Carolina, and that team did not have a good offense. I know Frank Reich was controlling the offense most of the season, and Thomas Brown stepped up after he got canned, but I just don't really like the idea of bringing in Thomas Brown. I think Mayo and him have a good relationship, which is why he might be interviewing, but overall his scheme and his offensive track record in Carolina, I'm staying away from Mr. Thomas Brown. What you shouldn't stay away from is this New England Patriots t-shirt combo. Go to chatsports.com slash Patriots shirt combo. These are on sale. You get a sweet throwback blue short sleeve plus a unbelievably cool looking red long sleeve throwback. I love Pat the Patriot. It's my favorite logo in all of sports. I think it should be used more out of New England if we're going to be honest. Head to chatsports.com slash Patriots shirt combo. That link will be in the description and the um, comments of today's video. Go grab yourself this awesome combination. One more on this list, and we'll talk about two more guys. Gerard Johnson, the quarterback coach of the Houston Texans. And to me, this would be a fantastic hire, but it's going to be difficult to get Gerard Johnson in Foxborough because he is heavily pursued. The Saints brought him in for a second interview uh, to be their offensive coordinator, so you'd have a lot of people competing to get Gerard Johnson, and rightfully so – because he is terrific. What he did with C.J. Uh, Stroud this year is nothing short of spectacular, and he would be doing it again with a rookie quarterback, something that we mentioned with um, uh, Thomas Brown and uh, Flurry too, like where having a track record of doing this is important to me. And what Stroud did this year in 15 games as the second pick out of Ohio State has been just fantastic, right? 100.8 quarterback rating. The raw stats aren't there, but he almost set the record for passing yards for rookie. I mean, Gerard Johnson is someone very, very enticing to a lot of teams, and I'd love him in New England. Uh, it would just be intriguing because he'd be a first-time play caller, but most of the guys we mentioned are would be first-time play callers as well. The only one that isn't is Thomas Brown and uh, Luke Getze, but <laughs> if we're going to be honest, those two are the guys that I don't want the most, which is kind of crazy. To say. Two more interviews to get to on today's video. Nick Cayley, the tight ends coach of the Rams, which we've talked about him extensively on the show, and Zach Robinson, the quarterback coach for the Rams. I'd like both of these guys, to be honest. I kind of have the feeling that Nick Cayley is going to get the job. If I had to give my prediction, it would be that Cayley gets the job. Uh, I don't know why. He just was in the New England Patriots organization for a long time. Jumped ship to be the tight ends coach in Los Angeles, learned under McVay for a year, and then could return to the team that he coached with for his entire beginning of his career and be the OC in New England. I think Nick Cayley makes a lot of sense, but my number one guy still is Zach Robinson. I think my number two would be Gerard Johnson 
the quarterback's coach of the Houston Texans. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, we will have a video when the Patriots do hire an offensive coordinator. So hit that sub button. Don't miss a piece of any New England Patriots news or rumors with our channel. I'm Nick Roloff. Harrison Graham does a lot of stuff with us as well. So hit that sub button, and I'll see you on the next video. Go Pats! Thank you.